Ida. We're going to continue with IP uh, past papers. Um, we reach question number uh, two. <clears throat> So here we have a diagram that shows the direction of a sound wave uh, traveling in a metal sheet. So the incident wave, it's inside the metal. And the angle of incident is 54. So the question, part of the question, uh, particle P in the metal sheet performs simple harmonic motion simple harmonic oscillations. When the displacement of P is 3.2 micrometer. So I have the first displacement, 3.2 micrometer at point P, and the magnitude of the acceleration I'm going to call it A1. So X1 3.2, A1 is 7.9 meter per second square. The magnitude of the acceleration, calculate the magnitude of the acceleration at the same point when now the displacement X2 became 2.3 micrometer. I need to calculate A2. Now simple harmonic motion. Acceleration is directly proportional with negative of the displacement. So I can create a formula using uh, this uh, equation. I can write it as A2 over A1 equals X2 over X1. So A2, we don't have it, divided by A1, 7.9 equals X2 is 2.3 divided by 3.2. Micro and micro, they cancel each other out. Now, cross multiplication, you should get A2 equal 5.7 meter per second square. B, the waves is, the wave uh, is incident at point Q on the metal air boundary. So I have first medium is metal. Second medium now air. OK. So first medium is inside the metal. Second medium is air. The angle of incident, this is theta one. Theta one is 54. And the speed of sound, this is V1, the first medium, V1, the middle, first medium, 6,010 meter per second. Second medium would be air. Second medium, air. I need to find the angle of refraction. Velocity of sound in air, this is second medium, air, is 300 and 40 meter per second. So Snell's law sine theta 2 divided by sine theta 1, theta 2 air, second medium. Theta 1, first medium, which is metal. This will equal velocity V2 over V1. So sine theta 2 over sine 54 will equal 340 divided by 6010. Cross multiplication and take sine inverse for both sides. So theta 2 will equal sine inverse of sine 54 times 340 divided by 610. You should get 2.6 degree. B, the frequency of the sound wave in, in the middle is 200. Uh, uh, 
Oh, we're done with this. No. Here, the frequency of sound wave in the middle is 250 hertz. Oh, yes, we did this on the top. Calculate the angle between a normal and we're, we're done with the B. See now, the frequency of the sound wave in the middle is 250 hertz. Determine the wavelength of the wave in air. Now, frequency is constant. I know velocity is lambda times frequency, so I need lambda will be V over F. And this is 340 divided by 250 will give us 1.36 meter. OK. We're going to solve this high level Doppler effect. Same question. You have sound frequency is 2. 1500 hertz is emitted from an aircraft that moves with velocity 280 meter per second. So here I have this is the velocity of the source, the source that generate sound. And this is the original frequency. Now this source is moving away from stationary observer, which means the velocity of the observer zero. Stationary is not moving. Speed of sound, velocity of sound is 340. Now, if you remember the Doppler effect formula, the observed frequency F prime will equal the original frequency times velocity of sound positive or negative, the velocity of the observer, and in our case, the observer is zero, divided by velocity of sound, positive or negative velocity of the source. Now, the source is moving away. That means the frequency, the observed frequency will, will be lower. The sound the observer will hear will be lower, the sound pitch is lower. If I want F prime to be lower, that means the denominator should be higher. How I'm going to make the denominator higher? Should I choose positive or negative sign? Of course, I'm going to choose a positive sign. So always, I will, if the source is moving away, Okay, we should uh, subtract. Okay, so we should add. Okay, source is moving away. We should add. If a source is toward, if a source is toward, we subtract. Source is moving toward, we should subtract. Away we add. Or understand it by this way. Frequency will be get lower, so the denominator should be higher, so I have to use the positive sign. So let's calculate it. F prime will equal the original frequency 2500 times velocity of sound 340 divided by 340 plus. 28 the velocity of source and you should get 1371 hertz calculate the wavelength this is the second one calculate the wavelength measured by the observer so lambda prime the wavelength measured will be the velocity divided by the observed frequency Velocity of sound and air, 340, divided by the observed frequency, we just calculated, which is 1,371. And you should get 0.24 meter. OK, that's it. See you in the next video with the next question from 
the same document, this document again is uploaded on Google um, Drive and it's already been shared with you.